there is nothing more annoying when your website starts to horizontally scroll when it's not supposed to. So in this video, I'm going to show you why this happens, how to prevent this from happening and how to find what's causing this in Webflow. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, what is up? My name is Ron Sego. Welcome back to a video where we talk about Webflow and how to use it to stop your website from horizontally scrolling. So here's my website. Oh, and this is just horrible when you can just start scrolling and scroll sideways. This is definitely not, should not happen. And this most often happens on mobile. So on, on you know, when you're scrolling with your mouth, you might not scroll horizontally, but if you have a trackpad like I do on the Mac, so this might happen sometimes. So why does this happen? So let's start with actually why this happens. This happens because you've put something that is actually wider than the, the size of your screen. So this might happen for a few reasons. Let's check out on my website. And here, let's see, let's see. So obviously we have this, this carousel that's uh, moving here and you can see that, yeah, these things are coming from the side. So obviously, yeah, there's more things here to the right. And here we have this animating text. So yeah, this text is around here. So when we're not blocking everything uh, in the width of the screen, obviously we can see this so we can move left and right and it's not what we want to. Now another reason that this might happen and why it happens a lot of the time on mobile is you might have given something a very specific size like I've decided that this whole uh, hero section title, I want to say that it's 600 pixels width. I'm giving it a fixed size because I want, you know, the letters or, or the words to break in a very specific way. And then when I go down into a mobile view, because that size is still fixed, that size might be bigger than, again, the screen of the device that somebody's watching this. So there's two reasons. One of them might be a mistake, like you've left something in a size that's bigger and you just need to go down and change the size, right? Make sure that it's now smaller, maybe just 100% or just a smaller number. But the second reason, in, and that's pretty what you're seeing on my website, I actually want these things to be there, right? I want them to scroll from the sides or I want them to kind of move sideways. So I want this effect to happen, but I don't want people to be able to scroll left and right. I want the, the side, the, the viewport to be kind of fixed. I want them to be scrolling up and down, but I don't want them to be scrolling sideways. So let me show you basically how to fix this. Let's start with how to fix this and then how to find, because a lot of times you won't know what's causing this. If this is not something that you planned deliberately like I did on my website, you might not know what's actually causing this. Now let's start with first how to fix this. The way to fix this is to use what we call overflow hidden. And overflow hidden means that if something goes outside of the borders of its container, the, the div that's holding it, we're not gonna see, um, we're not gonna see the, the scroll bar, right? So by definition, we're, we have a scroll bar that we can scroll either, you know, vertically or horizontally. So what I do is I go into each section and if you remember what I told you about how to structure your website, and by the way, we do have a video about how to structure your website, each section should be wrapped inside of a div that's called a section. And one of the reasons why it's very helpful is that we can set this section to be overflow hidden. And that's basically means that the section which has every, all the content within it, you can scroll up and down because the con the you know, the section is high, but if something goes outside of the section, left and right, horizontally, we're not gonna be able to see this. So this is basically the fix. Once we change the overflow to hidden, um, you can't see, but I'm trying to scroll left and right right now, but I can't because the size here of this section is basically 100%, um, you can't see it here, but because it's auto, but it's basically 100% of the page and everything that's outside of it is going to be hidden right now. So this is the easy fix. The easy fix is just set the parent container into overflow 
hidden. Now, here's why. Some, usually, even if you don't know what's causing this, this will solve the problem. If you put everything inside of sections and then you just make the section, um, you know, overflow hidden, that should solve your question, your problem. Sometimes, however, you don't want your section to be overflow hidden because maybe you want things kind of overlapping between sections or there, there might be some kind of use cases where you might not want to do this because you specifically want things to flow between section um, one section and another. And then if, if that happens, if the horizontal scroll happens without your intention, you're gonna have to find it and fix it manually. So the first way to do this is just to use this x-ray mode that Webflow gives you. Now the x-ray mode basically puts everything in kind of a rectangular and then you can see these borders. And then it's very easy to see which borders, like the one that you can see here, are going out of your screen. Even if there's something there that's not very visible, um, the, the border of that object is going to be visible in the x-ray mode. And then it's going to be very easy, uh, easily, easy to see visibly what's going out of the screen and then you can either delete this thing or move it to somewhere else or just make sure it doesn't leave the the page. So that is the one strategy. The second strategy is just kind of a debugging strategy which means I'm going to start deleting things until I see that the problem is solved and when I and then I I'll find out what I deleted to solve the problem. So again, Structuring your website um, correctly or at least putting everything inside of sections make this really, really easy because I can just go here and delete this section. Problem solved? Not. Let's delete this section. Problem solved? No. Let's delete this section. And I'll just start deleting my whole page until I find the problem. Once I found the problem, I'm going to, of course, undo, undo, undo and bring back everything that I deleted and then go inside of the section that I found that was problematic, I'm going to start drilling down and looking for the bad behaving element within that section. So I hope this was useful for you. This can problem can be very, very frustrating when you're not sure what's causing it. So I hope you understand now how to find them and how to make sure that, you know, you don't have horizontally scrolling website, which is just Bad form, bad form. If you want to learn more about Webflow, we do have a course on it. You can check out below this video and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.